Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Funny Elizabeth, and I have to sit way back so it looks like I have clothes on, because if I sit too close, you may think that I don't have clothes on. And that's the opposite of what I want to happen in this video. So what's going on, people? Um, I wanted to do a um, dating video, and really don't expect any, sorry, cinnamon's being noisy, don't expect any wise words of wisdom on this one, because it's gonna be a rant. I'm just a little bit irritated with this whole fucking thing. Sorry. I hope, I can't remember who it was, but the person who watches and doesn't like my F word because she has small kids watching, I hope um, she gets her earphones soon for Christmas. I'm sorry. Um, so, what's been going on? Last week, um, Something that happened that made me start thinking about those moments when you feel really in love. When you're so excited to see somebody, when you hear their text tone come through, and it just like, I don't know, does something. I'm sorry, sleep after 60. I'm losing the 100 bucks. I'm mentioning it. I am mentioning him. That's not what the video is about, really, but in this part I am. But that's the way, that's the way I used to feel with Ryan. And so I started thinking about that the other day and started, and I also heard a quote last week from Marcel Proust and it was something to the effect of, I actually posted on Instagram and um, Facebook, it was something to the effect of, it is your imagination that makes you fall in love, not the other person. Definitely think that's what, what happened to me. However, so I'm thinking about this and I'm thinking, Am I ever going to feel that way again? And I'm not saying that in a I'm feeling sorry for myself way, but I'm just like, am I ever going to let myself feel that way again? And the answer that came to my mind was no. You know, I mean, I, <laughs> I know I'm genuinely all love and light and forgiveness, but I am just so fucking pissed off that someone um, abused my trust and love to such a level that I am hesitant to think that I will let myself feel that way again. It's not gonna say I wouldn't love anybody or I wouldn't be excited to see somebody or whatever, because that happens now. I'm excited to see people, but it's not in the same way. And I think there was a sense of naivete on my part around that, that allowed me to do it. And I don't know that I'll ever do it again. So that pissed me off. And that's a little, fear has been, I don't know if you watched my update video, I was talking about fear of regain. Fear has been this underlying little ripple that um, has been going through my life. So then what else? So yeah, fear that I'm not gonna feel that way again about somebody else. Fear that, I'm trying not to say this in a way that's just like stereotyping or lumping everybody together and saying that all men are assholes because they are not, I know they are not, but my experience just has not been that great lately and I'm sure I have to do with that and what I bring to it has something to do with that but it goes along the line lines of that sexual objectification stuff and this feeling that that's all that men are interested in and um Maybe it is in the beginning. I mean, I know when I talked about this before, people were saying that's just how men are, whatever. But you know what? I think they should hide it maybe just a little bit while you're getting to know them. You know, I had told you guys I did that video about sexual objectification. And that guy was a really, well, young to me. He was like 35. And I had actually blocked him after some communication around that because I was just like, yeah, not... Not my thing. Well, over Thanksgiving, I think I accidentally unblocked everybody who I had blocked on my phone. So I get a text from him the other day. I'm like, geez, how long have you been texting me since I haven't been responding? Because that was like six weeks ago. Um, but it was a nice message and I started texting with him and I finally said, you know, what are you looking for? Because this is not, in I mean, it really isn't anything he did. I mean, it was all choices I made, but I was kind of like, you know, I didn't feel good about our last exchange and it wasn't particularly anything that you did but it just I didn't leave there feeling good and I don't like that so before we even talk anymore can you just kind of give me a sense of what you're looking for 
And his response, which if I could look at my phone, I'd actually read to you, was something to the effect of, I'm sorry I made you feel that way, which I just said. He didn't make me feel that way. Whatever. This head stuff. Sorry, people. Um, maybe he did make me feel that way. Maybe I made me feel that way. Maybe <laughs> whatever. But anyway, his response was, I'm sorry I made you feel that way, but it was so sexy. And it's like, did you read anything I said? Thank you. That's nice. Bye-bye. And then I got this weird other Facebook message today from somebody that was very sexual or sexually oriented. And I'm like, does that work for you ever really? Do you really get a date with somebody that way or get somebody who wants to get to know you better? And yes, it's probably because I'm meeting people through a dating apps. I have not yet put out to Facebook to meet somebody real because I'm not even totally sure I want to be somebody real. I don't know. I'm just, part of me feels like, part of me feels like I should be grateful that people are attracted to me because I went for so many years when they weren't. But part of me also feels like, is there anything other than the way I look or what our sexual connection is that is attractive to you? <sighs> so part of me feels like I should be grateful because I went all these years without anybody being attracted to me. Now people are attracted to me. I get that. I know that. And, you know, and I guess I'm just afraid that, and I'm pissed that I come this far, I lose 200 pounds, I finally get it, you know? For the first time in my life, I'll watch TV shows where women are, you know, talking about flirting and being sexual and dating, and I will get it, I will understand it. I can laugh at those jokes that before, even though I dated, it was different. It was never like this before, and it was never like showing up as a girly girl. I left here, I left here the other day to go meet Patty for lunch. And I was in a really cute outfit with my new fringe boots and I was carrying her um, dresses that were, you know, like evening gown dresses. And I was walking down the stairs. One of my neighbors looked up at me and was like, wow, you look really beautiful. And I was like, I feel like a girl. I really feel like a girl, like a woman. I'm like one of those women who dresses up like this to go to lunch and who carries evening gowns because she goes to places where <laughs> she can wear those. And... That's really cool. But so I get there, I do this, and here still, I get a lying liar who lies. Um, and I'm still not totally over it. And it fucking pisses me off that I'm not. And so that's sort of my rant. I don't know. Um, I'm just mad and afraid. I mean, I think that's a big part of it is I'm just starting to be afraid that I did these things that I thought is what I needed to do to to have someone love me that way and um and I guess I'm starting to worry that's not gonna happen and I know it probably will and blah 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 but that's just how I'm feeling right now so Anyway, that's my rant. Thanks for listening. I probably overshared and I will uh, probably not talk to you guys for a little while. I may not be able to make a Monday update next week because I'm going to, um, I come back from Chicago on Sunday, but then I leave again Monday morning for another trip. So we'll see. I probably won't see you till next Tuesday. So you guys have a good week. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.